All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we've got one from Ugly Watch Company. Now, I have to admit I've never heard of this company before, but Chris Marshall did a review of this watch recently and asked if I wanted to have it on the channel. I said, sure, so I checked them out. Seems like they got their first watch going last year sometimes. They came up with a diver's watch, and looks like a really nice watch. Now, this is a brand new watch. This is available on Kickstarter. I think as of today, if I looked at it right, they got about seven days left on their campaign. They're really close to hitting their $15,000 mark. So if you guys are interested in this watch, definitely jump on over. I'll leave a link to the Kickstarter campaign and whatnot, and you can uh, help support them. So here we go, guys. Now, the case this comes in is really cool. I think this is a prototype watch. I don't think this is a full production model, obviously, because they're in the Kickstarter phase, but this is a really cool watch. Now, the one unique thing you're going to notice with this watch and all the watches in this 100-meter sports watch series is the mop dial or the mother of pearl dial. Gotta love the iridescent effect of a mother of pearl dial, those layers of the shell. It's just really, really cool looking. Now, um, this one is a brand new watch from them. And like I said, their first one was a diver. This time they wanted to go into a sports style watch. There's 100 meters water resistance. It does have a screw down crown. So it's kind of a watch that you can do everything with without being that diver's watch that we're so used to seeing. It's sometimes there's something refreshing about a sports watch. Now, let's talk specifications on this watch. You have a 41 millimeter case from side to side, 47.5 lug tip to lug tip. I'm measuring just under 12 millimeters of thickness from the case back to the top of this flat sapphire crystal, and the watch employs 22 millimeter lug openings. All 316L stainless steel construction on this watch, as you can see, very nice finish work done all the way around. Brushing on the side of the case, polishing along the tops of the lugs, as well as this fixed bezel on the watch. Taking a look at the dial, that's what's really spectacular on this watch here. We'll get that to adjust. You can see all of the indices on this watch are applied and polished all the way around. There is BGW9 and Swiss Super Luminova on here, so you have a combination of the two. Date window and function functionality over here at the 3 o'clock position. Now, I do think there's a prototype, and I did notice the date window is slightly off. You guys will notice that. I guarantee you they'll have that fixed up on the full production models. This is running the ST2130 high beat movement, 28,800 vibrations per hour hacking and hand windable on this movement but very nice clean sweep of that second hand there as you guys can tell the bracelet on the watch again 316l stainless steel and this is a very nice jubilee bracelet on the watch love jubilee bracelets always super comfortable on the wrist you can see the milled clasp assembly here a little bit of protective clasp uh, plastic still on there and as you guys can see the st2130 movement in here there is portage work done on this movement as you guys can tell but very nicely done. You can see your water resistance there, sapphire crystal. 100 meters is really gonna get it done on a watch like this. This is truly a sports watch, and what I love about the sports watches is they're almost like that, that skin diver watch. It's a watch that you're not gonna wear you know, doing heavy, heavy duty water activities, but snorkeling, you know, diving in the water and whatnot, you're not gonna have a problem with these watches with 100 meters of water resistance. Now, if you like the blue, it's beautiful. There's a pink, there's a black, there's all kinds of different colorways available in this dial. So like I said, link down below in the description of the Kickstarter campaign and to the Ugly Watch website. Let's go ahead and pause it for a second. Get this watch on my seven inch wrist and be sure to stick around for the loom one, the loom, because this watch, the uh, double color loom on it is really, really cool. All right, here on my seven inch wrist, 41 millimeter watch fits my wrist very well. Now, as I can show you too, the lugs on this watch, even at 47 and a half millimeters, they dive down nicely. So the watch is really going to hit uh, hit, fit your wrist, excuse me, very well. Even if you have a smaller wrist than me, I think because of the diving lugs on this watch, it's definitely going to work for you. It's funny, Ugly Watch Company, the first thing my wife said when I opened this watch and showed it to her was, that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. So I think it's funny. It's Ugly Watch Company. My wife thought this was probably one of the most beautiful watches I've received to check out here on the channel, but go figure. So let's dim the lights and look at the loom. When I was watching Chris's review, Chris Marshall's review of this watch, I was really, really impressed with the loom. So I'll leave his uh, his video, um, his review of this watch down below in the description also so you guys can check that out. But really, really awesome loom on this one. You guys can see kind of the greenish, greenish tint there in the middle of the indices and the hands and then the blue out here at the tips. Just really, really neat uh, use of the loom on this. And I love the fact that these sports watches, people are putting enough loom on them now that they almost react like a dive, dive watch. But... Very, very nice. Very well done, Ugly Watch Company. The 100 meter sports watch looks like it's gonna be a hit. Looks like you guys are very close to attaining that goal on your Kickstarter campaign, so good luck with that. So guys like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks guys.